You know, honeybees can do some strange things. For example, that's not pollen on her legs, that's propolis. It's a natural antiseptic made from the sap and the resin of trees and plants. And they use it to coat the inside of their hive, or sometimes even close up an entrance for winter. Or they might use it to build corrals to help manage invading insects like these small hive beetles. Or they could even put a thin coating of it on a dead critter that they can't remove from the hive to control the spread of bacteria as it decays. Now they'll eat right next to a bumblebee outside the hive, but if it comes inside their hive, well, that's not the best thing for the bee. What they're doing here is called washboarding. They pivot on their hind legs while sweeping with their two front legs and mandibles, and nobody knows for sure why they do it, but a lot of beekeepers have seen it. But I'd never run into or seen anything like this before. I started hearing this growling sound of some kind after I'd set up the video of moving this colony from a top bar hive into the Langstroth hive on the ground behind me. I wasn't sure the microphone was picking up the sound, so I took the camera off the tripod and took it over to the hive. to see if I could find out what it was. So uh, I put the camera back on the tripod and I started moving frame. And if you listen real close, you can still hear it. But after I moved this comb, I didn't hear it anymore. But I was determined. I, I had to find out what it was. So I just kept on moving frame after frame and I even removed the covering over the screen bottom in case something was trapped in there. And I checked everything right down to the last frame. There was nothing but the bees. So I figured it was just a fluke and finished moving the bees and basically just forgot about it. Until I heard this a little over a year later. I just walked up to inspect a couple of hives in a bee yard. And there it was again. It's coming from the inside of this hive's top box. And even with all that going on in the top, the bees down at the entrance, well, they were still hanging out and fanning like it was just a normal hot August day. But in the meantime, the sound keeps going at the top. up just by the time I removed the lid and that was it. And I went through all the frames and the boxes and found nothing unusual in the hive. I've only found one other recording of this from 2011 and comments from a few others who have heard it and some suggested it could be queens making this sound. And I did find signs of queen production in the top bar, both open and closed queen cells. And sometimes new queens will make a sound called piping, calling to the other newly hatched queens in the hive. But this is what a piping queen sounds like. And this is quacking made by an unhatched queen still inside her cell. So, does this queen's piping sound anything like this? <laughs> or does this queen's piping and the other and quacking remind you anything of this? Yeah, obviously not. Since then, another inspector sent me a video of this sound coming from a small box of about 2,000 worker bees that I'd help fill for a lab sample. So, why and how do they make it? It appears it's just another unexplained mystery of honeybees.